Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and I'm going to be starting a connected franchise mode as an owner of the Raiders. Um, I did all the little preseason stuff, the uh, four preseason games and the cutting and all that stuff, uh, so you guys wouldn't have to deal with that. Um, I'm just going to make this video here just showing the team and uh, kind of what trades I made. I'll kind of discuss them and go through them and tell you guys what I did. Uh, so let's get into this. Uh, the roster... Uh, the Raiders roster I improved a lot, uh, so I picked up Michael Vick. I traded the Eagles for Vick. Um, I traded them Terrell Pryor and a draft pick. I think it was a first round or something. It was a draft pick for Vick, um, and then I brought in Pat White just because Pat White's left-handed, so when Vick retires, I have Pat White to come in. McGloin will always be a definite backup, so that's why I brought uh, Pat White in. Halfbacks didn't do much. I traded for Kenyon Barner. I traded a, uh, I think it was a fourth round draft pick for Kenyon Barner. Uh, just because McFadden, uh, if you know anything about the Raiders, McFadden is a injury prone machine. Uh, so he's in, he's even injured right now. Uh, so Rashad Jennings is getting the start. And we've got Latavius Murray here to uh, kind of back up just in case something unforeseen happens. I cut the other fullback on uh, kept Marcel Reese. Because I can always put a halfback at fullback if necessary or a tight end. I signed Randy Moss and Steve Breston. I signed uh, Steve Breston to do kick and punt return duties. Uh, that's about it. He's the fifth wide receiver, but he's mostly here to do kick and punt return duties. Just so I don't have to worry about any of my others worrying about it. I was going to cut Bryce Butler and Jerron Kreiner, but you, I took huge cap hits if I did. So they're still on the team. Uh, right now, Denarius Moore is hurt, but Randy Moss is going to be the go-to wide receiver uh, just this initial year because I think he'll retire after that. Uh, John Kondo wanted to cut him, but he had way too much of a salary hit, so held on to him. So we're running four tight ends on the roster. Rivera and Casa will probably be the only two to see the field. Osbury might see it a little bit here and there. Uh, left tackle, Velda here, Khalif Barnes, and Menelik Watson. Menelik Watson is actually going to be playing the left guard spot because Tony Bergstrom is not very good. And Menelik Watson plays a 77 at left guard. Uh, Steven Wazenowski, I think, uh, is our center. And uh, the backup center got hurt, so that's that's interesting. Uh, Mike Breesel, or Breisel, however you want to say it, uh, he is going to be the right guard. Pretty good. And then I traded the Patriots for Marcus Cannon. I traded them a fourth round pick and the old right tackle who was a 69 overall um, and got Marcus Cannon, which is really nice. Uh, 81 overall and he's young, so a lot of room to improve. I signed Rob Ninkovich off of free agency. I guess the Patriots let him go um, in this connected franchise, so I was able to sign him in free agency. Uh, Lamar Houston, uh, just a steady, not the greatest uh, right end, but, you know, we'll... We'll get him. We'll get him to be a little bit better. Uh, three years of experience. Uh, D tackle. I signed Richard Seymour. Uh, 90 overall, so that's good. He can complement Pat Sims or vice versa. Uh, left outside linebacker. Seo Moore. Uh, linebacking core is decent. They're like all high 70s. So Seo Moore, pretty good. Uh, Nick Roach. Uh, I think in the ultimate team he's a left outside linebacker, but he's a 73. Not awful. Also linebacker, we got Kevin Burnett, which is kind of the highlight of the linebacking group. And he's an 82, but he's pretty good. Uh, cornerbacks, I went out and signed Namdi Asamoa. And uh, you'll see in the depth chart, it's not exactly ordered like this, a little different. Uh, free safety, Charles Woodson. They uh, signed him in the offseason. I didn't have to do that. Uh, strong safety, Tyvon Branch. So we have good safeties in Charles Woodson and Tyvon Branch. Uh, kicker, Sebastian Janikowski, and my favorite punter in the league, Marquette King, who is actually a pretty good punter, uh, even though his overall is only 76. He's pretty good in real life, or was pretty good, I guess. Um, and so draft picks, you can see I'm down to a first round, a second round, a third round, and a fifth round. I traded two seventh rounds for a fifth, fifth round to the Jets. Uh, so we, we're a little low on draft picks this year, but we got a full complement of them next year. Then I'll probably trade a seventh and a sixth for a fourth or something like that. I don't like to pick up too many draft picks. Then you're kind of stuck with them. But uh, for now, uh, that's good enough. Uh, for the depth chart, you can see Pat White is the second, not McGloin. Halfbacks, Kenny, this is 
how it should be. Fullback, I have Rashad Jennings and McFadden kind of backing up. Um, Marcel Reese, have it, if he happens to go down. You can see right here, um, not playing Breston really, I put Jacoby Ford over him. Uh, just for wide receiver purposes, but he will be starting the first two games, I think, because Denarius Moore is hurt. Tight ends, uh, just kind of basically how it should be. Same with left tackles. Then Menelik Watson here is uh, left guard because you can see he's better than uh, Tony Bergstrom by seven overall. Uh, center, this is just how it should be, I think. Yeah, let me put Veldy here there. Uh, right tackle, you see um, Marcus Cannon, left end Ninkovich. Right end, Lamar Houston. D-tackle, Seymour. Left outside linebacker, Moore. Roach. Uh, Burnett. And then cornerback's a little different. You got Namdi at the 1, Hayden at the 2. Put him over Mike Jenkins because I kind of want to develop DJ Hayden because uh, he's got a lot of potential and whatnot. Uh, put Tracy Porter over Chimney Chiqua because uh, Chiqua's young. And uh, get Tracy Porter. I like I like Tracy Porter over Chiqua. Chiqua's just fast pretty much. Uh, he is taller, but not by a whole lot. Uh, free safety, this is all just how it should be. All of this. And then you can see kick returner, Breston. Uh, punt returner, Breston. And that's about that. We can take a look at the injury report here. I thought this was easier for me to do instead of a full, like, preseason type thing. I'll probably do, like, the off season. I'll either live stream or I'll just do a live, like, hour and a half video or something. But here are our injured players. We've got the backup center injured for a week. We've got Denarius Moore and Derek McFadden injured for uh, two weeks each, and so that that's interesting. We don't. I don't really need McFadden uh, or Denarius Moore. I have enough players to kind of accommodate for that. Um, here are the settings that I'm running with. Uh, salary cap on, skill level all men, game flow 14 minutes, 13 minute play, uh, minimum play clock. Uh, I think all of this is just basic how it is normally. Uh, so there's that. Uh, user teams, I'll show you this in case anybody thinks like that I cheated. There's only one user team and that's me as the Raiders. Because you, and when you're playing... Um, uh, offline, so because I'm playing it offline in case my internet ever goes down, I can still record uh, this uh, just as kind of a backup measure. And so, there you can go you know, user teams and you can add and create as you like. Uh, but sliders here are the sliders that I'm running. Uh, there's player skill. Um, I, I they work out pretty well, except for uh, receivers and cornerbacks, they seem to drop a lot of passes and a lot of weird stuff happens and whatnot but basic they're pretty good they work really well and so that's pretty much all of that uh i'm not gonna be moving the raiders i want to keep them in oakland uh because this isn't gonna like lapse like 10 seasons or anything so i might as well just keep them in oakland by the time i get the old, new stadium it'll be I think it's next year, and uh, I already know what I would do. I already like simulated a practice one. It's really not that special, uh, but I might show you guys if you want to see. I wouldn't do it in this. I just show you in like a different, uh, what you might call it, uh, connected franchise. I just do a video about it. Uh, but our first game of the season is against the Indianapolis Colts. I actually played almost a full game against them uh, in like a pre-recorded thing. Uh, like that I would edit down. I already did this video once, but then uh, the X, my Xbox One froze, or the game froze, one of the two. I think it was the game. Uh, and so I lost all that data, so I had to redo it because some of the trades didn't go as they did before. I think before I traded Marcus for Marcus Cannon in a seventh round pick, I traded uh, the Patriots. I also got like a seventh or a sixth round pick with it. There were a couple things that were different, so I thought I'd re-record this video, but... Uh, Hopefully I can re lead the Raiders to the playoffs or at least uh, not have a terrible draft pick. Maybe 7-9 and nine or something at least. Uh, but I think I can take this team to the playoffs. I don't know why Vic is an 88 overall. Uh, because I did a connected franchise like a week ago just to test it out and see what was going on. And he was like an 83 or like a 78 or something. He was low rated. I don't know all of a sudden he got an 88. And so that's just weird because he's not a starter. Like... Foles went up. Foles has a high overall. I think he's like an 84 or something like that. I don't know why Vic is an 88. 
but I will accept it because he's my favorite player. If any of you were wondering why he was an 88, I don't know. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and I will catch you in week one where we will face the Indianapolis Colts. Peace out, guys.